Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how to mod your Minecraft, and please make sure to check the description box. I have timestamps, a list of resources, and a few notes to keep in mind. To install mods, you'll need to close your Minecraft and open your browser. Search Java and click this link right here. Simply click download and follow the installer steps as shown here on my screen. Now in your browser, you can search CurseForge Minecraft and click this link right here. Click a mod that interests you. I'll be using this mod right here as an example. Then we're going to click files and find the game version that we are looking for. I'll be using 1.20.1 .1 throughout this video. You wanna keep note of which game version of the mod you are downloading. Sometimes mods can be finicky, so the mod maker will do a bug fix and that's why there's so many of 1.20.1 .1 for this mod. And if you're having problems with a particular mod, make sure you check the description box to see if it needs a required mod, or you might have to downgrade or remove the mod altogether from your pack. Sometimes mods don't get along well together. All right, the next step is to check out the mod loaders tab. This tutorial will be using the forge loader, not fabric. So we will be downloading exclusively forge compatible mods. Now press the download button, wait five seconds, then your mod will be in your downloads folder. Now we can open a new tab and search Forge Minecraft, then click this link right here. Find the version that matches your mod from earlier. I typically use the recommended, but sometimes you may need to try both options to see what works best for your mod pack. Some mods prefer the latest, some prefer the recommended. Click installer, you will be redirected, and you'll just have to wait a few seconds for the skip button, which is the only thing you need to click, by the way. Alrighty, so we've downloaded everything. The next step is to open the CurseForge installer. You'll get this little pop-up. Another thing to note is that you can right-click and click Open With and select Java. If that isn't at the top, click More Apps until you can find it. Now, back to our little pop-up. Click Install Client, then click OK. It'll have a new pop-up and it'll do a bunch of nonsense that I don't understand, but it's doing its thing. So we will wait until that's done, and then we will click on the OK box that says Forge was successfully installed onto our Minecraft client. Okay, good, cool, everything's working. So we now have Forge, but we don't have the mods just yet, but let's test to make sure Forge is actually on our client, okay? So we're gonna reopen the Minecraft launcher, and then we're going to look for the new Forge profile, and it should be in the bottom left box, and if it's not, then we're going to go to installations, click the box, new installations, click the version box and search forge, then select the forge that we just installed. Another thing to note is that I have a separate tutorial on how to add more RAM to Minecraft, as the more mods you have, the more resources your Minecraft will need, so the tutorial will be linked down below. Okay, anyways, go ahead and launch Minecraft, and after it loads, you can see that I have a mods button and forge in the bottom left corner. Now that we know that forge works, we can close Minecraft and add our mods into the game, because we don't have them yet. Okay, there's two different ways to get to your mods folder, so I'm going to show you both ways. So you're going to be on your desktop, you're going to press two keys. You're going to press the Windows key and the R key at the same time. This is going to pop up the little run box, and another way to get the run box to pop up is to go into your search bar in the bottom left, and just simply search run and open it that way. Okay, so now that we have the run program open, we're going to type in percent app data percent into the box and press OK. We're going to find and click the .minecraft folder and we're going to go inside here and try to find the mods folder. If you don't already have a mods folder, you can simply right click, select new folder, and name it mods in all lowercase. Now remember the mod I downloaded earlier? Well, it's not actually in Minecraft yet, so we're going to just simply drag and drop it into the Minecraft mods folder, okay? Now that our mods are in the mods folder, we can relaunch the Forge Minecraft version. After it's done loading up, we can see that we have the new mod, so let's go! Congrats, guys! 